So we're going to move now to this middle section. We've got our sound generation and sound shaping areas up here. The sound then goes through an amplifier. The middle section is called the router, and we'll see the router also when we get to the ES2. The router is a place where you can modulate or change anything about the sound. So let's go to an unused slot in the router and choose a target called a destination. And that target's going to be the filter's cutoff frequency that we've just been working with up here. And first we'll experiment with choosing a source for that, and we'll choose the velocity so that as I play harder, the filter cutoff will open up from its baseline or initial position. It's not doing anything yet, and doesn't do anything when you use the router until you bring up the amount or depth of modulation that determines how much is velocity going to open up that cutoff at higher and higher velocities. I'll get the filter opening up more and more and more. Let's see what we got. Well, okay, let's take it one step further. Very commonly, you're going to shape your sounds with two major kinds of contours that move over time. One is the contour of the sound's volume. That's called its amplitude envelope. And by default, in these synths, it's the envelope you'll find in the lower right. This is envelope two. The other one is the filter envelope. So that means every time I play a note, there's a shape of the filter opening and closing. So let's change this routing over here so that instead of modulating filter cutoff with velocity, we modulate it with the unused envelope, envelope 1. That appears down here in the modulation section. So again, signal flow on top, the router in the middle, and that router connects modulations to signal. And we have this envelope generator, that's what it's called, down here, where I can modify the times of the rising and falling of that filter cutoff. Let's set it up first so that we get a little bit of a, it takes a little time for the filter to open up. Then it takes some time for the filter to close back down. These settings are called the ADSR envelope, and that stands for attack, decay, sustain, and release. Those are time values except for the sustain portion, which represents kind of a level. So the filter is going to open up in this amount of time then it's going to kind of go back down in this amount of time and kind of park itself wherever you set the sustain level. So let's set that up so it... Because it's a resonant filter, you can actually hear the filter opening up. That, in combination with that glide effect, gives it a little bit of that duck-like quality that we've got going on here. Let's save before we get too far along. Okay, well that's cool, but we still want to have the expression that we had before of using velocity to open that filter a little bit more. What's really cool about the router, and it shows up throughout Logic synths and interfaces, is something called the VIA setting. Technically, it's called secondary modulation or range, and that just means that you can have the envelope, that's this, open up the filter cutoff, that's this, or you can specify that it opens up a certain amount at low velocities, but another amount, a greater amount, at high velocities. In other words, the more you bang on that keyboard, the more this thing is going to open up that cutoff. In other words, you're going to get your expression back. And that can happen all within this single router with the middle section called VIA, which is currently off. So we'll click on that. VIA is off, but we're going to have envelope 1, modulate filter, via velocity. And when you do that, you end up with two sliders instead of one. The bottom slider says you're going to have this amount of modulation at low velocities, but that amount at high velocities. You can spread them apart a little bit. You can grab them in the middle and move them together. Let's see what we got. Now it's a little bit duck-like, so I'm going to... a little bit too duck-like, I should say, so I'm going to uh, shorten the attack time of the filter envelope just a little bit. But take a look. If you can read this small type, the attack time of the envelope itself has a built-in via, a built-in secondary modulator, which means that you can have the actual opening of the filter be faster when you hit the keyboard harder. More expression built right into that. We're going to separate that out so that the attack time is faster at high velocities and slower 
at low velocities and combine that with some via with velocity for the general filter opening. I'm going to bring down that portamento a bit. It's a little bit too much. Let's see what we got. Let's trigger both together. Well, you get the idea. Let's turn that off. That gives you a good sense of using modulations in the EXS24.